In this video, I will be guiding you how to add fields related to tax in GST. Suppose consider your current profile looks like this. Note that the GST percentage is combinedly shown here as in, in this 3% the SGST and CGST is included and also since this is tax inclusive you don't know in what value this 3% is being applied. To solve these two cases I will be guiding you in this video to place fields related to GST as in SGST, IGST and CGST split up as well as the taxable goods value and the corresponding tax amount of the bill. In your easy print click on enable editing. In your print design add two text fields for SGST and CGST. Type SGST in the first text label and type CGST in the second text label. Now to keep the corresponding SGST amount and CGST amount, search for SGST in your header field. Click on the field and place it in the design screen. Similarly, do the same for CGST. Search as CGST, click on the CGST amount field and place it in the design screen. Now as I have told you, you can use the horizontal and vertical aligners to make sure your bill print design looks in a proper way. Click on the currently aligned field and click on the horizontal aligner to make sure that your SGST amount is displayed in the same row as the SGST text field. Repeat the same process for CGST field. Click on the field that is currently aligned, click on the horizontal aligner and click on the function field. Now when you preview, you can see that the SGST and CGST amount has been displayed separately. Similarly, if you want to add the tax summary column, click on the percentage icon available here and you can drag and place the tax summary field in your bill print design. Now you can design in such a way that in the first column the tax percentage will be displayed, in the second column the goods amount will be displayed without tax and in the third column you can display the tax value of those goods. Now in your tax summary field you can search for total tax percentage. Click on the field and place it in the tax summary field. In the next column you can search for goods without tax and place it in the same tax summary section. In the third column you can place the total tax amount. Once you have done this, make sure that you have properly aligned all the three fields in a single row. Use the horizontal and vertical aligners to align all the three in the single row. Now when you see the preview, you can see that 3% and 12% tax is displayed and the total taxable value is 97 and 35 for the corresponding tax percentage and the tax calculated value will be in the third column. In order to improve your quality of the bill, you can also place a text field stating which column has what value. You can use three label fields. And have the first column as tax percentage, the second column as goods value, the third column as tax value. You can align all the same in a single row using the horizontal aligner. Make sure this text field is also vertically aligned with your function field. Click on your function field first and click on the vertical aligner. 
Repeat the same for all the three columns. Now when you look at the preview, you can find that the tax percentage is split as 3% and 12% and the corresponding goods value and calculated tax value is displayed. Hope that you are clear in this video and if you have any doubts regarding editing the print design, please stay tuned to our GoFrugal YouTube channel. We will be uploading a lot more videos to make your work simpler.